Hey gypsies, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. So we are in the big countdown the last few days before Christmas and now is when the stress starts, but only if we let it, okay? I know for all the moms out there and the women in the family, I'm sorry, but it is more work for us, is it not? Like my hubby, as far as getting stressed about Christmas, is really laughable. Uh, totally. It's laughable to think that he would get stressed about Christmas when I do absolutely everything. You know what I'm saying? Okay, he put name tags on for me yesterday, but it's it's the girls typically, guys. Is it not? I mean, yeah. So, anyway, let the countdown begin. We're not going to stress no matter how much work we have to do, and we're just going to get it done like we always do because that's why we are the queens, okay? Yes. So anyway, I found some new stuff up in there. I found some, you know, I'm still looking for last minute little Christmas stocking ideas and stuff like that. So I just found some good little items in there. And of course, things for me too, because that's what it's all about. Nah, just kidding. I um, just want to say, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, be become part of the gypsy family also let me know what your favorite item was um i've got my black shein coat on and let me just say like can y'all see it's like it's like velvety corduroy here and then the sleeves has this gorgeousness and then around the neck um this this bad boy comes almost down to my feet so let me just say i love this thing like I love this thing. I was glad when I left, it was pouring the snow. Let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. I'll tell you that story some other time. Actually, watch the shorts and you'll see. Okay, guys, I'm just going to get this right here because it's in my way. Number one, um, I need some boxes to put clothes in to wrap. Yeah, this one is not that great. Like this side, you get two in a pack. But I got it for the other side, which is freaking absolutely adorable. Would you look? Guys, how adorable is this? I love the pink and the spring green, and I just think it's fabulous, like the whole thing. So yes, I got that for that one box, although I'll use both boxes, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's just dive in. I'm gonna just get whatever's closest, guys, because I got a massive amount over here. So this will probably be kind of a massive Dollar Tree haul. So yes. Um, so this is from the Candy Moyo, which is a new brand that I've been seeing at Dollar Tree. Um, I feel like it is maybe a Dollar Tree brand. This is long wearing, multi usage contour and concealer. This one is in the color Mocha. Let's open it up because I want to show you guys. It looks really cool. And I am always loving a contour. Uh, it, it wouldn't be a good concealer for me, um, but a contour it would because the contours you want darker anyway. So, yeah. I think it's going to be a really good contour color. And this, like I said, it's in the color Mocha. So basically, you pop the top off. Here's what the little, look at that. Let me fill this. Okay, it's just like a little hard spongy type thing. Let's twist it up and see how long it takes for it to get up in there. And try not to make a mess with it. And then I just want to see the color and the blendability, honestly. Um, can you see anything coming yet, guys? I don't know. Sometimes it takes a few twists. My phone was ringing, sorry about that. I was trying to decide on whether to answer. Look, okay, one more twist. Now that's a good color, honestly. Let's do it on the back of the hand. Yeah, this right here is gonna be an excellent contour color. Can you see this? Let's blend it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fabulous. I love this. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna stick it right down in my purse so I won't forget to put it with my makeup. And let me try to wipe it off my hand because I don't want it on my coat. Okay, let's go ahead and go in with these. This is something I saw that was new. And let me just say, I don't eat much kettle popcorn, but I'm gonna be trying this out. This is called Big and Bold Kettle Corn Mix. It is duets, it says, hot cocoa flavor and marshmallow flavor. Okay, hold on. Okay. 
Okay, sorry about that. I had to put it on some airplane mode because uh, I don't want nobody to keep calling. So anyway, these right here look amazing. They are hot cocoa flavor, marshmallow flavor. I'm not going to open them and try them out. I don't want them to dry out, but they're definitely a brand name. And I love these brand name things. So if it's brand name, I'm pretty much going to grab it. Um, also on my wish list were these right here. This is the Lance. Um, what I don't know what that word is. Neck, neck it, neck out, neck o, neck me, knee, knee I don't know, guys. I have no idea. But these are the fudge cookies. Okay, so you get six packs of four cookies. And it's probably like a vanilla flavored cookie. I don't feel like it'd be a cracker, but I really don't know. But it looks good, and I grabbed two boxes of those because I figured the kids would really love them. So we did that. And then I found this right here, which number one, the packaging got me. It's the two pack of fragrance sachets. And here's what it looks like. Isn't that festive? It's just so festive. Now, it says that it is pine scented, but I just want to say, I don't really smell much pine. Maybe a little bit. It might smell like a stale pine cone. I don't know. But, I mean, it's not bad. It's not the best either. I wouldn't want to put it in my drawers or anything, but I would maybe hang it up in a closet or, you know, a closet that I don't use or junk room or something. I don't know. So there's that. Um, one day this week, we are going to get to some baking. Don't know when it's going to be. Um, and I'm not going to bake a whole lot. Honestly, I'm going to pick like two or three things. Definitely marshmallow crisp, mar rice crispy treats, which is our number one, my most favorite thing on the planet, honestly. Um, and then we have the no bake oatmeal cookies that we're going to be doing. And then we might do like the peanut butter kisses cookies maybe i don't know but we're not going to go all out we're just going to do a few things maybe some fudge if i keep thinking i'm gonna come up with some more stuff right but i don't have time to do all that um like i told you guys uh so i got these hefty these are the storage sliders and this is in the quart size so this will just be really good to send stuff out you know because yeah i do have some cookie boxes and stuff like that but as soon as you think you've got everything you need boom there's going to be something else that pops up okay and then like i told you guys there is um, that cat which we renamed it nazir um it looks just like a solid black little panther this sun is killing me i might have to move um but it just looks like a nazir to me i don't even know what nazir is i have no clue but it looks like a Nazir more than a Nezuko, since we know that Nezuko's a girl. This cat is a boy. So, Nazir is what I've been calling it. And we've been letting it come in and sleep and rest and eat and kick back and play and roll and just bring us joy. You know, do whatever brings you joy. It's not our cat, though. Like, I don't know whose cat it is, but we've just been... Okay, anyway... I'm going to have to make it a stocking, obviously, because I'm making two other cat stockings, really three other cats, so I'm going to be doing another stocking. So, having said all that, um, I got this little thing right here to put in Nazir's stocking, and then I got some of these Temptations, and then I got three more of these Nine Lives right here, and these are just the crunchy little snacks that you can give to them um, because I couldn't remember how many of these that I had and I don't want to leave any of the cats out you know what I'm saying um, and then I actually gave Nazir one of these the other day and let me just say he went a little crazy over it he loved it and let me just say also that I think I was queen for the day after I gave him that so I'll be giving him that okay um, and then I grabbed these just to have over at the house on the days when I have Ricky and Sophie. A lot of times, Ricky, you know, his, his little hands get sticky. And instead of, I'm just going to keep these at the house. Instead of having to dig through the diaper bag and get her, um, Hallie's wipes, I'm just going to keep me, these over there. And come on, these are fabulous, right? It's the Baby Shark. It's Nickelodeon. You get 60 wipes up in here. And I'm just going to keep them in a handy place where I know where they're at. So, yeah. And then I saw these. Do I need these for any reason? No. Um, these are novelty erasers, but they're space themed. Typically, if something is space themed, I will get it. And especially if it has an alien on it, 
I'm going to get it. So, there's the alien. And it even has a third eye, I think. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Is that a third eye? And then we have an astronaut, a rocket, a spaceship, and a UFO. So, I want the alien and the UFO, honestly. What am I going to do with it? I have no clue. I don't know. I have no idea. So, okay. Got me these just to keep in the car. It's just the... Um, 20 piece of trident. Yep, this is gonna go down in my little console. Um, I found this, which is from Chapstick. This is one that I haven't seen. It is a Chapstick Total Hydration. Now, I wasn't wearing my reading glasses up in there, but do you see the background? It's giving me bubblegum vibes, and I'm like, I wonder if this is gonna be like bubblegum flavored. It says it's a tinted lip oil, so shall we go for it? I don't see why not. Let's just see. Number one, the color is magnifique. I don't know. I don't know what kind of language I'm speaking certain times. That it just pops out. It just pops out, guys. I don't know. Okay, so let's try this out. And this is really pretty. I mean, the color, like, is really pretty. Let me put this down so I can actually see. Now, I do have lipstick and lip gloss on right now, so... It is bubble gum. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Oh. Ah. Do you see how dark? Ooh. Mmm. A lip oil with the bubble gum flavor. Mmm. Yes, please. Hold on. I don't want to look like a mademoiselle. I know. That's not the right word. A madam. I don't want to look like a madam up in here. Do y'all remember madam from like the 70s? Let me know if y'all remember madam. Like, I'm just curious. I don't know where that went. My purse is gone. Everything's gone. Okay, there's that. And then you ever get to the place where you think you're crazy because you keep hearing a beep and then you realize it's just your smoke detector needing a battery so thank goodness i'm not going crazy this time um and then i got this because if something says that it's going to be neck firming i'm pretty much going to grab it so this is the spa scriptions firming anti-wrinkle neck cream okay i need a little firming and anti-wrinkle so let's see what we got here like this is sealed off like really good it'd probably be great for a gift basket but here I am ripping into it like a rabid dog. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. It's a cream. It's a jar. I don't know what I was thinking it was going to be, honestly. Man, I went through the hard way, I believe. Okay. It's a jar. Let's smell it and fill it. Because, oh, okay. Not sealed or anything like that, but I mean, it was sealed. Like I had to use a muscle to get it out. So there's what it looks like. And the smell is... Eh, you know, a little bit of a chemical, but not a lot. It's not super thick. Honestly, it looks... Can you see that? Now, if I stick my finger in there, you'd think it'd come back white. But, I mean, it kind of did. But it's like really, really runny-ish. And I don't know. I don't feel like that's going to firm anything up. We'll see. I'm not sure. Oops. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Right. I think I showed you one of these the other day. I got a pink and a purple one, and I said, I know I have another one. This one's for Ray or Jack, one of the two. Honestly, I love these colors right here together. Um, I think it's really pretty, so I'm one of them. Okay, guys, name brand alert. Name brand alert. Max. Max. What? I don't think I've ever seen Max. Uh, what the heck are these? Pork skins. This is what I've always called them. A lot of people call them ch ch chicharrones or something like that, which it does say that here, but it also says pork skins. That's what we've always called them. Um, but Max has never been at the Dollar Tree, to my knowledge. I've never seen them. These are the original, which is not my favorite, but let me just say, when you are doing keto, which I'm not, um, but pork rinds, pork rinds is what I always call them, is one of the big things that you can eat. Like, instead of chips, 
pork rinds is your deal. You know, you can spread, you can use these to make your own nachos. You can use these in place of, of uh, well, you can use these. I used to spread cream cheese on them, honestly. Make me a plate of cream cheese covered chicharrones. I can't. Uh, but anyway, like that's, you don't see those at Dollar Tree. Now, this is a name brand as well, but I've seen it at Dollar Tree before. They only had a couple bags of these. I just got the one. Honestly, I would have loved to have had these whenever we did our um, picnic, you know, when we roasted marshmallows and all that fun stuff. It is the Stuffed Puffs um, Filled Marshmallows. They are the classic milk chocolate in the middle. So there's what they look like. And these are good. Like if you have a, a sweet tooth and you're like, oh, you know, you, you want something sweet, get you one of them bad boys, okay? Because they are good. Um, I grabbed two of these. These are going to go in one of the bags for um, somebody for Christmas. We have the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate, which is which? Dark chocolate and the milk chocolate covered espresso beans. Last time I ate the whole bag, they are delicious, okay? If you guys haven't tried those, you need to. Now, I don't know if they have caffeine in them or not, because you would think an espresso bean would have caffeine, right? I don't know if they do or not, so yeah. Um, I got these to put in my hubby's bag, so hopefully he's not watching. This is the Cars. Um, definitely a name brand. I mean, I've seen this in Sam's Club, Walmart. Um, this is the Cars Trail Mix, and it's the sweet and salty mix, and they have it all christmas up. So, you know, it's right in the, the season. So I grabbed him, both of those, because he does love his trail mix. And then, if you guys remember the other day, which they're still in here. They're still in here. Um, these right here are the chalkboard decals and I said I should have got some chalk here's the chalk so basically you put these up you know and you can write on them with chalk and so yeah I, I was glad that I actually remembered the chalk today and they also had those little skinny chalks the bigger boxes but let me just say those things break so easy and you know a Crayola chalk is going to be good so there's that and then the other day uh, Jackie and Ricky got into a fight over one of these little things and caused a big old ruckus. You know what I'm saying? You ever have a big old ruckus up in your house? It was over one of these and it wasn't even as good as this. And I'm like, I'll get some more. Okay, I'll get some more. So here we go. Here we go. I got some more. Um, it's just the sticky hands and Ricky was having the dang time of his life with it, but it was Jack's. And she didn't want him to have the dang time of his life with it, you know? You ever have experiences like that? So, what can you do? I mean, go off and then, you know, get back to get back to where it needs to be, right? That's all I can say. Okay, I'm trying to get these. So, my hubby, I got four of these guys. It's the Alani New Iced, or not Iced, um protein coffees. My hubby loves these. He actually had one this morning before work and he said it was wonderful and he requested more if I saw any more mocha ones and so today I came across the mocha ones and I got him four of these. So yeah, he, I let him drink those. No, no big deal at all. And then um, I also got some Worcestershire sauce. No, not Worcestershire. Some soy sauce. They actually had a different brand name, like a brand name, instead of this is Pantry Basics, which I love the way they spelled the basics there. Um, Pantry Basics, soy sauce. I make Chinese dishes quite a lot, and I always put soy sauce in. So we go through it, you know, more than the average family maybe, but um, you get such a much more in this rather than the name brand one. So I'm like, give me that. And then look at these guys. Now these are not the name brand. It's the kind that it's the super stacks like Dollar Tree sells in the sour cream and onion, salt and vinegar original. Um, but this is the first time that I've saw these. They are chili and lime potato crisps. They totally give me the uh, Takis vibe. Not only the color, but the chili and the lime on there. So these are 100% Dollar Tree brand, okay? I guess. I don't know. 
the other ones that I'm pretty sure they are yeah so anyway I'm like let me go ahead and grab them because I think the kids would love them because they are loving some talkies anyway so and then let's see here I think this was from today oh yeah it looks like I've dropped a couple little items here yeah I was trying to get in with 50 bags um you guys probably saw me haul this a while back it's the Wizard Spray Winter Pine Forest, okay? When I look away and shut my mouth for a minute, y'all know, this is going to be good, okay? This is good stuff. Like, you use the bathroom, you spray this around, and <laughs> this will cover the smell of anything, all right? Let's just be real and truthful, it doesn't smell great when people use the bathroom. You know, that's what it's all about. It's not supposed to. <clears throat> but you use this. This is fabulous, okay? I don't know what's in this. Does it smell like pine forest? Not really. Not really. I mean, it smells wonderfully wonderful, if that's even a thing. But I got three of these because they are fabulous. So there's that. And then... I got that for the kitty because I couldn't find no more fish and I couldn't find none of those little packs of balls, which was I was really wanting. So I went ahead and just grabbed that little cat for the kitty. And then I needed one more of these to um, have three of them for stockings. So I just grabbed whatever I could get my hands on first. And then I found these. I only got one. Now I bought the Morton seasoning salt. And I did get two of those not too long ago. Um, and then I saw this Morton sea salt. And this is the fine sea salt. But I read somewhere, guys, and I don't know if this is true or not. I really need to dive deep and get some answers. Um, that most of the sea salt is, <clears throat> is mined in a way where it contains mercury. And I'm like, and they say that, you know, you hear so much about sea salt being the best, the best, the best. Um, but most sea salt contains mercury. Uh, so I use the Celtic sea salt, but I got this because I'm like, this is a name brand. Maybe this would be a good sea salt. And I'm sure in the ingredients, it's not going to say mercury. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to dive deeper on that just to see, like, is there any truth to that at all? Um, because I don't like that idea. And then I was planning ahead, guys. Like I said, it is a, we are expect. I didn't say this, but we are expecting three to five inches today. And um, we're under a severe weather, winter weather advisory, which excites the crap out of me. And I would be totally fine with it if I only knew that my son, that is a FedEx driver, did not have to work. But he does. It's that time of year. It's package time, you know? He's got to work. And it's going to be bad. So, what can I say? I'm just going to, you know, just pray for the best and yeah you gotta let them be adults right um and we've we've talked yeah I, I keep trying to get off on other subjects but i'm not i was just thinking come springtime in my journals and the planners that i love to do these daisies would be so beautiful and just looking at them right now look they got a ladybug just looking at them right now they give me that vibe that springtime vibe you know i feel like there's a ton of different vibes that gives a springtime vibe you know what i'm saying so there's that okay let's see what else we got okay another name brand alert well let me go ahead and grab these up well let me get these before this one spills um, I did get something, which I see one of them is laying in the floor down there. So, I'm not going to be able to show you both. But I do want to show you one. Where'd it go? And the other one's purple. I got this out of the children's or the baby section. This is called Power Light. Electrolyte Solution. And I guess it's kind of like a dupe for Pedialyte. So, this is the Tropical Frutas. Okay. Uh, so, basically, yeah, they had a purple one and an orange one. I went ahead and grabbed them both. Um, I don't know. I may let Ricky have some. My son will drink anything on the planet. As long as it's not toilet water, he's good with it. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And then I grabbed these. These are the Snack Time, the Global Brands. 
snack time packs. What I like about these guys is they're not just you open them and it's a box of crackers. There is three sleeves, just like if you would buy like Ritz crackers, how they come in the sleeves. So th there's three sleeves in each one of these. And my son is addicted to potted meat right now on crackers. And I thought this would probably be perfect for that. So uh, this is just the original. Wait, what are these? Oh, vegetable chicken. Does that say chicken? No, vegetable crackers and salted crackers. So I feel like that's a good deal for all those crackers. So yes. And then these are going to go, um, these are the Sprite ones. Have y'all ever tried these? Like, I don't feel like they really taste like Sprite. I think I did a taste test on those. But these are just going to go in a couple of the stocking things that I'm going to be doing. I just got this for um, tomorrow's baby day. I babysit twice a week and Ricky loves these, so I'll try to have them on hand. And then I got this to start drinking my super greens out of because I feel like this is good for all winter long. Now, they had red ones and green ones that were more geared to, for Christmas. But these have, can y'all see the glitter up in here? Look at this. Look at this. And this is absolutely perfect. to If you drink super greens, it just says let it snow. I just think it would be so much fun. If you're going to have to drink super greens anyway, why not drink them out of a cute cup, right? It says let it snow and not, and, and I can drink it, drink it through the winter, right? So that'll be my super greens cup. Okay. Don't fall. Let's put you back in here. Okay. Name brand alert. And I cannot remember if I got these in the past or not. Um, but these are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles family size. Family size, guys. So, this is a huge box. I got two. I got one for our house, one for Josh and Hallie's house. This is one pound and, and wait, one pound and 1.8 ounces of cereal. So, this is a huge thing of cereal. Do you remember eating cereal as a kid and you set the box in front of you and you're going to read all over the box and the boxes back then were a little bit more fun and they also had prizes in the cereal. You remember that? Um, so anyway, this box looks pretty fun, you know, to sit and eat and look at the box, right? So I love finding name brand cereal up in Dollar Tree because it makes me happy. And so here's another name brand cereal that I found and we know it hasn't been that long since it's been Halloween. So this is Halloween Crunch from Captain Crunch. This is not a family size, it's just a regular size, 11.7 .7 ounces, but let me just say, I love some Captain Crunch, so I'm gonna keep two boxes at our house, and I'm gonna send one box over at Josh and Hallie's. I really don't know if they eat cereal or not. So I don't know, but I'm gonna send one. Um, it says, Ghost Turn Green in Milk, and that's got me really excited because, I mean, who don't want to eat cereal where the ghosts turn green, right? So I am loving that. So there, I got three boxes of those. I'm getting stacked up in here, guys. I got to keep it out for the TikToks, though. I'm telling y'all. Um, I got to get caught up on those. I save all this stuff in my car to do the TikToks because I don't do them at the same time because usually I'm ready to go get out. So, I'm going to do it. If you guys are not following me over on TikTok, it is Twisted Gypsy 32 And that's what I am over on Instagram as well. So, go check me out over there. I do a few different things on each one of those platforms. So, you know, you might like it. I do more family stuff over on Instagram, though, honestly. Um, I got this to put something of Jackie's in because she is loving some cats. And this is the cutest flipping cat I've ever seen with a Santa hat on. So I had to grab that. And then I did get one more stocking because I'm making it one more, you know. You know how that goes, guys. Um, is that all? I'm just wondering. <coughs> I think it is. The okay, I see a, a bag down there. 
But I think I've already hauled that on a different haul. So that's it, guys. And this was a pretty massive Dollar Tree haul. There's a lot of stuff up in here. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Definitely let me know what y'all's favorite was. And just want to say um, we did not do the um, Christmas wrapping the rampage of wrapping or whatever we was going to do because Fifi is kind of addicted to door dashing right now because it's that time of year and she's making mad money so <laughs> I'm like don't worry about it me and her are going to go out Friday she don't have to work Friday and we are going to take the day we're going to vlog we are going to shop get all the last minute stuff and coffee and probably lunch too we're gonna do it all while we're out on friday because it's our last day you know it's 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 coming down to it so anyway guys um i will see you before that though so and until next time guys bye